हेलो हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग द सम इम्पोर्टेंट इंग्लिश चैप्टर एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन आंसर्स दैट इज द जेंटल मैन ऑफ रियो एंड मेडियो स्नेहितर इवती इंग्लिश तरगति के तमेल आत्मीय स्वागत इवती तरगत यूनिट थ्री आद द जेंटल मैन आफ् रियो एंड मेडियो घटक एक्सइज क्वेश्चन आंसर चर्चे मैं स्ने इवे तुम नुन चल सब्सक्रैब आगदे सब्सक्रैब आगे लाइक मैं फ्रेंड्स के शेरमी ना मतक वीडियो तब एक्चे मेरे तपदे पकलकन निम्बे नोटिफ आगे मूलक वीडियो लभ्य आगे घटक एक्सइज क्वेश्चन आंसर नोड़ यूनिट नंबर थ्री द जेंटल मैन आफ रियो एंड मीडियो मेन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन आंसर दि फॉलोविंग क्वेश्चन इन टू आर् थ्री सेटेन्स फस्ट क्वेश्चन डिस्क्रैब दि ओल मैन प्रॉफर्टी प्रॉफर्ट Describe the old man property. Right answer: The old man's house was small, wretched, but attractive in an old, fascinated ways. His orchard was enameled and beautiful, and a small stream ran through his land. Question number two. Where did Don Azelmo live? What work did he do? Azelmo lived up in Rio and Medio. He was a farmer and tilled the land that his ancestors had tilled. Question number three. Explain briefly the appearance Don Azelmo. Don Azelmo. wore an old green faded coat his gloves to fair old and torn and his fingertips showed through them and carried a can which was the skeleton of a warm out umbrella question number 4 explain briefly the manner of don azelmo Don Azelmo bowed to all of them in the office room. He removed his hat and gloves slowly and carefully. Fifth question: Why did the storyteller offer the old man almost the double of what he had quoted earlier? Americans sent the survivor and the engineer to serve the old man's land. It was found that he owned almost twice the land. As the Americans were good and honest people, they were ready to give more money. Question number six: What was the reaction of the? Old man to the storyteller offer or Don Azelmo's reaction to the offer of more money was not accepted. Justify. Right answer: The old man becomes angry and told the storyteller that the offer was insult to him. He refused the offer and took only twelve hundred dollars that he had quoted. What did the story teller fall to convince Don Azelmo to accept more money? Don Azelmo felt that he was insulted by the offers, as he was a man of principle. He would take the money that he had quoted earlier. What did Don Azelmo do as a It left the place with money. Don Azelmo shook hands all round, around, put on his ragged gloves, took his cane, and walked out with the boat boy behind him. What changes did Americans make to Don Azelmo's property?
द अमेरिकन्स री प्लॅस्टर्ड द ओल्ड हाऊस प्राऊंड अँड द ट्रीज अँड पॅचड द फॅन्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन वाट डिड द स्टोरी टेलर्स फ्रेंड्स कंप्लेन राईट आन्सर द स्टोरी टेलर्स फ्रेंड्स कंप्लेन्ड दॅट द चिल्ड्रन्स ऑफ द विलेज गेम एव्हरी डे ओवर अँड द प्रॉपर्टीज पुट प्ले फ्रेंड्स प्लेड अंडर द ट्रीज अँड फ्लक्ड फ्लॉवर्स फ्रॉम द ट्रीज वाट डिड द स्टोरी टेलर रिक्वेस्ट डॉन एजलमो टू डू आफ्टर द कंप्लेंट द स्टोरी टेलर टोल्ड डॉन एजलमो दॅट अकॉर्डिंग टू द डीड द अमेरिकन्स हॅड कंप्लीट प्रोफेशन्स ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी बट द चिल्ड्रन्स ऑफ द विलेज ओवर रॅन द ऑर्चिड युअर एव्हरी डे सो ही रिक्वेस्टेड हिम टू स्टॉप द चिल्ड्रन्स फ्रॉम डूईंग दिस सो दॅट अमेरिकन्स कुड लाईव्ह इन पीस क्वेश्चन नंबर टेल्व्ह वाय डू यू थिंक डॉन अजेल्मो डिड नॉट सेल द ट्रीज इन द ऑर्चर्ड डॉन अजेल्मो प्लॅन्टेड ए प्लॅन्ट फॉर एव्हरी बॉर्न चाइल्ड अँड सो द ट्रीज बिलॉंग एड टू द चिल्ड्रन्स ऑफ रिओ अँड मेडिओ शन्स ही कुड सेल ओनली द लँड अँड हाऊस बट नॉट द ट्रीज इन द ऑर्चर्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन हाउ कॅन यू से दॅट डॉन अजेल्मो वॉज फॅसिनेट अबाउट हिज लँड द चिल्ड्रन्स ऑफ रिओ अँड मेडिओ डॉन एजेल्मो प्लॅन्टेड ए प्लॅन्ट फॉर एव्हरी चाइल्ड बॉर्न इन रिओ अँड मेडिओ ही थॉट द ट्रीज डिड नॉट बिलॉंग टू हिम बट टू द चिल्ड्रन ही ग्रो ट्रीज फॉर द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन्स ऑफ रिओ अँड मेडिओ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन वाय डू यू थिंक द अमेरिकन्स वॉन्टेड टू वी डॉन एजेल्मोज लँड द हाऊस वॉज स्मॉल बट अट्रॅक्टिव्ह इन अँड ओल्ड फॅसिनेटेड वेज द ऑर्चर्ड वॉज ग्रॅनल्ड अँड ब्युटिफुल ए स्मॉल स्ट्रीम रॅन थ्रू हिज लँड सो टू लीड ए हॅपी अँड पीसफुल लाईफ द अमेरिकन्स वॉन्टेड टू बुई डॉन अजलमोज लँड क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन वाय डिड द स्टोरी टेलर से दॅट अमेरिकन्स वेर गुड पीपल्स राईट आन्सर दे डिड नॉट वॉन्ट टू चीट डॉन अजलमो अँड दे वेर विलिंग to pay Don Azelmo twice the money for his land. They did not punish the children who gave them a lot of troubles, even though they were the legal owners of the tree, they bought the trees individually. Question number 16. How do you say that Don Azelmo was generous? Right answer Don Azelmo was generous because he was a man of principles. He refused to take the extra money offered by the Americans for his land. He planted a plant for every children born in Rio and Medio. He thought that the trees did not belong to him but to do to the children. Read the following extracts and answer the questions that follow. First one. It took months of negotiations to came an understanding with the old man. He was in no hurry what he had to most understand. up was time who is the old man here don azelmo what was the negotiations about selling up old man's land why do you think it took months to come to an understanding 
बिकॉज ही वॉज इन नो हरी टू सेल द लैंड द ओल्ड मैन रिमूव हिज हैट एंड ग्लोज केयरफुली हु इज द ओल्ड मैन रेफर्ड हेयर डॉन एज एजलमो हुज स्टाइल डिड इट रिमाइंड टू राइटर ऑफ चार्ली चाफलिन How wear he the hat and gloves, old and torn? We have made a discovery. First question: Who does the world we refer to here? Right answer: the storyteller and the Americans. B question: What did they discover? The discovered that Don Azalmo owned more than Eight acres of land. What was the result of discovery? As a result, they offered Don Angelmo double the price of what they had quoted earlier. Fourth one, these Americans are Bino Gente. Who said these words? The storyteller John A. Sedillo. What is the meaning of "bino gente" according to the context? This means good people. Why did the speaker call Americans "bino gentle"? After the survey, they were ready to pay twice of the money. They quoted had quoted earlier. Fifth one, he said, "I do not like the how you speak to me in that manner." First question, who do you the word I and me refer to here? Right answer, I refers to Don Azalmo. You refers to the storyteller. What is the mood of speaker? He felt that he was being insulted and was angry. What made him to react so? The storyteller told him that Americans offered him twice the money that had quoted earlier for his land. Question number six: I have agreed to sell my house and land for twelve hundred dollars. and that is the price who does the word i refer to here don azalmo when did the speaker says this when the american offered him double the price that had been quoted earlier for his land what does this statement tell her about the speaker the speaker was not greedy and they He was a man of principles. I did not sell them the trees in the orchard. The trees in that orchards are not mine. First question: Who said these words, Don Azalmo? Why did not he sell the trees in the orchard? According to Don Azalmo, the trees belonging belonged. to the children of rio en medio how did don azelmo defend his statement when a child was born in the village a tree was planted and so the tree belonged to the children of the village question number 8 when one signs a deed and sell real property one sells also everything that grow on the land and those trees first question who said this to whom the author said this to don azelmo who sold the property to whom don azelmo sold property to the americans why did he say so don azelmo said that he did not sell the trees on the orchard this was bad according to the law next 
हु वेयर द लीगल ओनर्स ऑफ द ट्रेज अकॉर्डिंग टू द डीट राइट आंसर अमेरिकन्स हु रेफ्यूज टू टेक द मनी डॉन एजलमो वाई डिट ही रेफ्यूज टू टेक मोर मनी ही वॉज ए मैन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल सी थॉट दैट ट्रीज बिलोंग बिलोंग्स टू चिल्ड्रंस एंड ही हैड नॉट सेल द ट्रीज ही लाइव्ड ऑफ इन रियो एंड मीडियो वेयर ही इंस्टर्स लाइव्ड ही टिल्ड द सम लैंड दे हैड टिल्ड Who does he and they refer to? He refer to the old man as Elmo. They refer to his ancestors. What does the statement convey? Convey the statement convey that Elmo was the oldest man in the village Rio Yen Meadow. What was the profession of old man farmer? One day they came back to the office to complain to the children of the village where who were running their properties. Who complained to the office? American complained to the office. What was their complaint? Their complaint was that children of Rio and Medio were who were running their property. What is the property referred to here? The property referred to here is land purchased by the Americans. Answer the following questions in eight or ten sentences. Don Ezelmo and Americans were genius, generous in their own ways. Explain. After survey, Americans found that Don Ezelmo owned more than eight acres. They did not want. to cheat them and were ready to pay him twice the money they did not punish the children who gave them a lot of troubles even though they were the legal owners of the trees they brought the treat individually don ezelmo was generous because he was a man of principles He refused to take extra money offered by the Americans. He planted a plant for his child born in Rio en Medio. He thought the trees belonging to the children. Question number two. At last, the problem of ownership was resolved. But it took a long time. What might be a reason for it? Right answer. The children of Rio and Medio began to overrun the orchard and to spend most of their time there. This was brought to the notice of Don Ezelmo, and he was asked to stop children's. Don Ezelmo claimed. that he had sold that the land to them but not the trees he had planted a tree for each child born in village and the trees belonging belonged to children not to him the owner were left with no choice they had to buy the trees individually from the villagers this took a long time third question don ezelmo reaction to offer of more money was not accepted justified don ezelmo agreed to sell his land for 1200 dollars after this sur- survey the americans found that uh, the land was more than 8 acres and they were willing to offer twice the amount the old man could have been happy but as he heard this the money old man hung his head for the moment and 
stared at the storyteller. He felt that he was being insulted. He told them that he had agreed to sell his property for $1,200 to Americans and stuck to his word.